So in this video we're going to go through how to create this interactive HR diagram in Google Sheets using a bubble chart. So there are probably different ways you can go about creating this but after trial and error I'm going to take you through the easiest way that I found. So to start with let's select um, our X and Y axes, so temperature and luminosity. So you just click the top of the first column, drag across to select those first two. Then we go up to insert and choose chart. And you'll see it automatically selects a scattered chart and it puts in our labels as well which makes life a little bit easier. I'm just going to move it out of the way. Okay so we want to change it though to a bubble chart. So go to the chart type and scroll down until you find the bubble chart next to the scatter chart and select that. Okay so a couple of things. Um, we will come back and do the ID in a minute but we, we can see we've got the x-axis temperature, y-axis luminosity. We're going to add uh, the series and we're going to use the name of series. So let's click, if you click up and click the top of the first column with name and then press OK. Okay. So then we want to come down to add size. So we want to use the radius to add the relative sizes. I'm going to try without clicking in that. No, it still works. Okay. So we click on that to select the radius for the size. And you'll notice that the relative sizes change. Now the last thing will come up and put the ID, which will allow for the name to be put over the top of each of these stars. So click ID and then click the first column with name, press OK and you will, and voila. Okay, so we're ready to go through and customize. So click customize in chart editor and we're just going to scroll, we're just going to work our way down. So we'll start at chart, type, at chart style and, and give it a black background. Okay. Uh, reduce that, go to bubble. Um, okay, so we want to probably reduce the font size and make it stand out a bit more with a lighter text color. Okay, so chart title. Well, we've got our X and Y axes. I just want to change the top title so go chart title and change so let's go to horizontal axis now I'll just scroll up a bit so we can see okay so we want to reverse the axis and we also want to make it a log scale. So for the data in my table, I found uh, that 2000 works best for the minimum and 50,000 degrees Kelvin for the maximum. Now it won't show here yet. Let's minimize that. Um, I'm just going to change now so you can see grid lines. If we go to grid lines and I'm looking at the horizontal axis grid lines, I found if we use 10, it's a bit better. Go back to horizontal axis and I want to slant the label slightly. Okay, so 
after horizontal axis, let's go to vertical axis and do some similar stuff. So again, we want a log scale. And again, I've found that a minimum and a maximum of 10 million seem to work well. And I will go to grid lines and change to vertical axis and give 10 because you want to be able to see uh, the luminosity of one for the sun. Okay, so I might stretch this out a little bit. So we do want to go in and be able to color the stars according to the spectral class. And to make it a little bit easier to do that, we're going to set up some conditional formatting on this column here. So if we click the top of this column, sorry, we go format, conditional formatting. And over here, we need to for the rule, select is between. Okay, and I will just drag the information across a little bit so we can see. So we want to, for the first one, uh, we've got 28,000 up to 50,000. So any stars that color, uh, that temperature will be blue. Okay, then we can click done. Okay, but we want to add, and oh, sorry, we'll just go back and have a look. So it's colored any stars above between those values blue. Okay, so I'll come back here, and we're going to add another rule and work our way down this table. So the next one is between. light blue. Close that. So the next bit is probably the most painful part of it but in the end it's not going to take that long once you get the rhythm. Okay so we need to have these colors here for us to see and if we go to edit chart uh, customize now we're going to go to series and we're going to work our way through these so ideally you probably don't want to have that many stars in your chart um, because you're going to have to color code each of them individually But at least I've got them alphabetical and I can just work my way down. So how do we do that? We select the series by the name and then just change the color according to what we can see. Okay, see that? Pretty painless. All right, so that's better. I might make that bigger still. And one other thing, I want to get rid of this um, legend here. So I just need to go back in the customize, go to legend and position, say none. And that spreads them out a little bit more. So... That's it.